the Yankee Dabbler Show, starring DJ and Engineer Hall. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the Yankee Dabbler, where, of course, every day is a train show. Today, we're going to be hopefully finding some new things that are going to find their way on your world. And we're going to get started with these scale train 70-ton hopper kits. Let's check out these puppies here. I think you're really going to enjoy these, especially if you're a kit builder. So I have a bunch of different variations here, including the Chesapeake in Ohio. I got the MKT. I got the Montour there. Here we have the Erie, the Milwaukee Road. And the Boston, the Maine. Now, these are great looking kits here, and I opened up one of them here. This is the Baltimore and Ohio kit. As you can see, I have all the parts here that I need to put it together. Of course, I got the wheels, I got the trucks, I got everything I need to put this kit together. And so, if you're looking for a fun afternoon project for you or the family, this is probably the way for you to go. Now, these kits retail for $27.49, but we're selling them here at Yankee Dabbler for $20.99. And the neat thing about each one of these cars is I have three different road numbers for each one of them, so you can get a nice long uh, hopper train, and it's going to send you bang, zoom, straight to the moon. So come get these. Yeah. Okay. Back on me. We're going to go get these cars today. I think you're really going to love them. I know some of you are looking for some more box cars to put on your layout, in which case I think you need to call someone for help. I mean, you know, you can only ask so many box cars. But I have another one for you just in case you want one, and I have this one from KD. Let's check out this car here from the Duluth, South Shore, and Atlantic. And this is a PS1 box car from KD, and I really like this car for a couple of reasons. One, as Engineer Hall was noting a little bit while ago, it has a nice gloss coat, doesn't it? Yes, uh, fresh out the factory look. I like that. Very cool. And the neat thing about this car is I do have doors that open up so I can put some stuff inside of it. I do have metal wheels and metal couplers as well. And I'm, you know me, the more metal I have on a car, the more I'm happy. Now the retail value of these cars are $43.99, but we're selling this one for $35.19. Great deal to get on that car. And as I said, I really enjoyed the fact that I can open the doors and put some items in there. Hmm, kind of reminds me of something. Maybe I should work on my comedy bit for a second. So what's the deal with boxcars? Am I right, people? I mean, does that mean I can only put boxes in a boxcar? <laughs> and what's the deal with electric locomotives? Does that mean I gotta plug it in whenever I go anywhere? That's a lot of cable. I mean, come on. Hmm. You know what, maybe I should stick to my day job. So come get this car rolling on your layout today. We're going to go back to end scale and we're going to take a look at something that I've been really looking forward to. And this is from Broadway Limited, the Y6B Norfolk and Western 2882s. Check out these engines here. I know you're really going to enjoy these uh, designs here. So these are, of course, the famous Y6Bs from the Norfolk and Western. Probably some of the most powerful steam locomotives ever designed. And, of course, a lot of them were made famous by famed photographer O. Winston Link, as he really was a fan of the Y6Bs. Now, I got two versions here. I have the, of course, in service version and then I have this fantasy what if scheme with that um, Norfolk and Western blue and gold slash yellow paint scheme and these are really great looking engines of course they are Broadway limited so you get all the great things with Broadway limited such as Paragon for sound DCC all the fun stuff that goes with these engines and I think definitely if you're a fan of the Norfolk and Western or just a fan of steam engines you need this engine running on your layout today so I got number 2192 on the rails of course I do have a couple of other different cab numbers on it so if you want to get a couple or if there's a specific number you're looking for you can get that but I got this one on the rails so let's see what it sounds like. Let's listen to the bell. The whistle. Oh. oh, that sounds great. Let's move on out, shall we?
board. Now arriving on track one, train number 2192, the Yankee Dabbler Creeper. I really like that engine. I think that is a really great looking locomotive. And the neat thing about it is actually the both the engine and the tender are die cast metal. So I think that's really cool. So the retail value of this engine is $599.99. But we're selling them here at Yankee Dabbler for $469.99. So it's a great deal to get on that engine. As I said, I have a couple of different variations. Of course, you go with sort of that Engineer Hall uh, discount on there and save a little money. And you'll be going, woohoo! So, come to Yankee Dabbler and get those engines pulling on your roads. So, we got some diesels in HO land that we have here, and these engines are going to make you go, Book them, Dano! Who is Dano? Book them, Engineer Hall! Oh, there you go. Yeah, yeah. All, right. all right. So, let's take a look at these Atheron Triclops diesel locomotives. I have a couple of different variations. The first two are former Union Pacific locomotives that are now leased by other railroads. So as you see, especially in this one, I have a whole bunch of different patch jobs happening on that one. So it definitely has a lot of neat detail and history behind that one. I got the Burlington Northern Santa Fe and it has such a classic design there. I have here this Sioux Line diesel locomotive and that is another great look as well. Something about red and white that always sticks out really well. And then of course I have another leaser engine happening there as well so if you're a person that likes to model some of the things that they see in the real railroads like some patch jobs lease engines or of course something like a prototypical burlington northern santa fe i think these engines are definitely the way for you to go zoom in a little bit closer inspection on this uh, former up diesel i love that flag logo that's happening there As a matter of fact it still says building america on it front of this engine looks great and i think to be honest with you where this engine really shines is the roof details they get a lot of really neat roof details happening on there and i just think this is a great looking diesel locomotive especially if you're a fan of these triclopses now these triclopses here retail for where is it $349.99 but we're selling it for $297.49 and these engines have a lot of power more power <laughs> So let's put one of these on the rails tonight and see what it sounds like. So I got that BNSF on the rails. Let's see what it looks like. And before we get it fired up here, I want to uh, point out all the lights here. Now, I'm just going to let you know, if you don't see it on the camera, just know that sometimes the light ratio doesn't work out too well. But I can assure you that this light does pulse here. Not a, a consistent pulse, but it does do it uh, every now and then. I have uh, the ditch lights here. I have the number boards lit up here. And I actually have some truck lights that are lighting up under there as well. You might not be able to see it on the camera, but I can assure you that that is there. So let's get the sounds going. Let's listen to the horn. Well, well. Good. Away we go. Essential just struck oil and is going to Beverly Hills. All aboard. Cool. 
So that is a great sound of diesel locomotive. And again, that price for these engines retail for $349.99, but we're selling them here at Yankee Dabbler for $297.49. So get these engines or all five of them pulling trains on your railroad today. I guarantee you'll love them. We got one more diesel locomotive for you to check out, and that's again from Broadway Limited. We got these GP20s in stock for your consideration. Check out these diesel engines. I know you're really going to like them. At least I hope you do because they look great. This is, of course, the Broadway Limited GP20s. I got a bunch of different versions here. I got the Amtrak there. I got the Burlington Northern Santa Fe. Now, what I really like about this engine, actually, if you zoom in into the front here, you see the old school Burlington Northern uh, Santa Fe logo that is there. That is a neat little design detail there. That was a great look there. We have here the Union Pacific. Another great look there as well. And I have here the United States Army. Don't mess with those guys, okay? I have here the Toledo Peoria and Western. The New York Central, and unfortunately the ill-fated Penn Central, but that is indeed a looking road name as well. Now, if you look at the top of each one of these diesel locomotives, you can see that each one of them, well, those two are kind of the same, but each one of them has a different variation to their detailing up top. For example, some of them have beacon lights, some of them have various other detailing in there. I mean, I just think these are really great looking diesel locomotives. And the other neat thing about them is I even have a guy driving the locomotive. It's running. I'm sorry? It's, it's running locomotive. He's not driving. Oh, it's running the locomotive. I'm sorry, Engineer Hall. Okay, I don't speak train talk. All day, he's always correcting everything I have to do. Oh, it's operating the locomotive. Oh, that's an exhaust vent. I mean, I do this all day for a living, okay? I could go all day. I could last all day. That's what she said. And these engines have a lot of weight to them, too. As a matter of fact, it has a really nice die-cast metal frame on this engine. There's just a tremendous amount of detailing. Broadway Limited does a great job on these locomotives. And I know you're not going to be disappointed with these GP20s pulling trains on your railroad today. So, just like we have with all the other engines, let's fire them up and see what they sound like. All aboard. We're going to give the Penn Central some love here. And I have that GP20 on the rails. And before we get started, let's take a look at, it. again, the lighting features I have on here. I have the cab lights are lit up there. I have some nice marker lights. The number boards a little bit as well as the headlights. So let's get these sounds going. Right, let's hit the bell. The horn. Classic. All aboard. And let's fire up. All aboard, highball. Uh-oh. Oops. Did I do that? Anyway, that is a great sound of diesel locomotive, and I think they look great. The retail value of these engines is $329.99, but we're selling them here at Yankee Dabbler for $263.99. I love these Broadway Limited diesels, and I know you're going to as well. So get one, two, or all of them pulling on your railroad today. Wow, what a lot of great things that we looked at today's show. So let's do a little recap and see everything that we saw. So from Broadway Limited, I had these awesome Y6B steam locomotives here in N scale. And also from Broadway Limited, I had these great looking GP20s for your consideration. From Athern, I had these Triclops diesel locomotives. Bunch of neat little row names there. From KD, I had this nice PS1 boxcar. And from Scale Trance, I had a whole bunch of these 70-ton hopper kits 
for you to put together. But of course, if none of this matches what you're looking for, you can always go on our website, yankeedabbler.com, and type in the search bar what you're looking for, get it in your cart so we can get it shipped out and send it to you so you can have hours and hours of train fun. If you're not already subscribed to Engineer Hall's channel, make sure you click that subscribe button to get caught up on everything that he has coming up. We have a lot of great videos with the ENH Railroad. Is that right, Engineer Hall? There you go. Oh, yeah. So that's exciting stuff. So make sure you click that subscribe button to get caught up on everything that we have. We're we're very close to 4,000 subscribers, and if we hit that number soon, we're going to do a special video for you. So if you really want to see that special video, make sure you click that subscribe button. We'll get 4,000 subscribers. Well, I want to thank you very much. We're going to conclude today's Rail Fan video with a trip back to the Strasburg River. We're going to take a look at Canadian National number 89 rolling down the rails. I hope you really enjoy it. Well, if you excuse me now, this was a lot of fun, but you know I need to get out of the office a little bit, so I just booked a three-hour boat tour on a boat called the SS Minnow. So I'm very excited. It's going to be me and a couple of other guys. There's uh, six of them or the, I don't know, the rest of them. So I'm hoping to have fun there. So I'll, I'll see you next time.